Nine. To begin with, we, the Greater Shepparton City Council, begin today's meeting by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land, which now comprises Greater Shepparton. We pay respect to their tribal elders, we celebrate their continuing culture, and we acknowledge the memory of their ancestors. Please note item two for the privacy notice. This public meeting is being streamed live via our Facebook page and made available through public access on our website, along with the official minutes of this meeting. All care is taken to maintain your privacy. However, as a visitor in the public gallery, it is assumed that your consent is given in the event that your image is broadcast to the public. It is also assumed that your consent is given to the use and disclosure of any information that you share at the meeting, including personal or sensitive information, to any person who accesses those recordings or minutes. Item number three, apologies. I do note Councillor Summers an apology this evening. Would a councillor please like to move that motion? I'll move that motion, Madam Mayor, that the apology of Councillor Summer be accepted. Thank you, Councillor Zavari. Do I have a seconder, please? Council I'll second that, Madam Mayor, and also leave granted if you need to include. Thank you very much. All those in favour? Motion carried. Item four, declarations of conflict of interest. Do any councillors have a declaration to make tonight for a conflict of interest? I have a conflict of interest for item number 10.2, the more concept designs, and I'll be leaving the chair at that time, and Deputy Mayor Councillor Abdullah will be taking the chair. Item number five, confirmation of minutes of the previous meeting. Is any item of the minutes opposed? No, continue on item number five. Would a council like to move the recommendation? Yes, I move, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Hazelman. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Ozavari, all those in favour, motion carried. We now go to question time, item six, still on page one. We do have some question time, Mr. Harriet. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I uh, have two questions from John Gray. Notice John's in the gallery tonight. Welcome, John. Um, John's first question um, is, uh, has an approach been made to Vic Roads to officially formalise the Golden Valley Highway, that is at Wyndham Street, rerouting via Wellsford Street from Sir Brown Street to Knight Street on completion of final upgrade works at the Friars Wellsford Street intersection in the coming 1819 financial year. Uh, the response to that John is yes we uh, have been having some discussions uh, with Vic Roads but as you would be aware um, the when we complete the final bit uh, just at the intersection here that's effectively only halfway of the project and we need to go uh, from Friar Street through to Sabrowan Street and there's some significant works in that. That will take some time over many years um, but we'll continue to talk to uh, Vic Roads and uh, at the appropriate time we will uh, discuss uh, transferring the status of uh, one road to the other. That will then ultimately allow us to calm uh, Wyndham Street um, and uh, formalise the uh, inner ring, uh, ring road via um, Walsford Street. Your second question, um, some years ago council formed a three member advisory group uh, of knowledgeable and experienced citizens. I think you were one of those knowledgeable and, no? Oh, I thought you were. Oh, okay, I think you might have put the idea up but uh, uh, to help in the management of open space decisions, more particularly turf management, whose input was valued in the highly successful introduction of water saving hybrid cooch grass, um, most particularly in our playing fields. Uh, that committee seemed to fade away uh, without acknowledgement of its contribution to that uh, success. Uh, um, I certainly would like to acknowledge uh, the work that that uh, small group did uh, because uh, you're yeah, right. <laughs> there were um, several conversions of uh, cooch grass over a number of years in a staged uh, process that has led to uh, much better surfaces on our playing fields. Could a similar uh, small cohort uh, be formed um, to help with the welcome and ambitious council initiative to green Greater Shepparton? The response to that is uh, the advisory group referred to was set up many years ago and provided valuable input into Council's turf management. This input was appreciated and recognised the Council 
and is in part why we have had such success establishing and managing fields in our public open space and sporting facilities. Council always welcomes advice from knowledgeable and experienced citizens on specific topics and values diverse opinion and input. There is, a, however, no immediate proposal to set up a specific group to provide advice on the Greening uh, Shepparton Initiative. Greening Shepparton involves a range of strategies and operational initiatives to provide for a greener Shepparton. During the development of each strategy, community engagement has been undertaken and Council has engaged with specialists and industry leaders in these fields. Anyone who believes uh, they have specific experience in this area is welcome to share their knowledge with us. Um, and, um, you know, an example of uh, the Greening uh, Shepparton uh, experience is One Tree Per Child, uh, which was fantastic success. We planted over 16,000 trees last year and we're going back in to uh, do that again this year with uh, over 17,000 trees this year. The response from the community uh, from little kids, uh, from volunteers to help make that happen was uh, over overwhelming and uh, fantastic and we couldn't have done it without that uh, support. So we do find that uh, times are changing, John, probably for the benefit, for the better, and that whether it's uh, council, the community, other authorities or government, uh, they're very much aware of environmental issues and greening shepherd and initiatives and are there to help. Um, so. Uh, with all that assistance uh, out there, um, we're finding it uh, much easier to uh, uh, provide that support and uh, help us uh, deliver. So um, right at this stage, we're not looking at forming another uh, advisory group, but as we say, quite happy to uh, take advice and listen to people who want to offer that uh, from time to time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Harriet, and thank you, um, Mr. Gray, for submitting those questions tonight. Councils will now go to item 7.1, adoption of terms of reference for Shepparton Regional Sale Yards <coughs> Advisory Committee on page two. The recommendation is also on page two. Would a council like to move a motion, please? Madam Mayor, I'll move that uh, recommendation on page number two as a motion. And I'll read that out if that's okay. Thank you, Councillor. The motion will be that the Council adopt the terms of reference for the Shepparton Regional Sale Yards Advisory Committee and publicly advertise for expressions of interest for the community representative on the Shepparton Regional Sale Yards Advisory Committee. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Giovanetti. Councillor Adam, would you like to speak to the motion? Well, as uh, the Council representative on that committee, I suppose I should. Um, the uh, review, obviously, the terms of reference, I think, happens every two years, from what I understand. And um, there's not many changes to it, from what I can see, uh, barring, I'll be saying to be correct, the Assemblies of Councils report, I think that's been added. Um, barring that, um, as the notes clearly say in the executive report, we have one community member, and I think that's the main interesting portion of this going out to public uh, advertisement. We're hoping to find someone who can represent the community a skills-based person, potentially, who has a good understanding and uh, I'm sure we'll end up getting someone to fit the bill very well. Thank you very much, Councillor Adam. Councillor Giovanetti, would you like to speak to the motion? Uh, just, oh, I suppose, following on from Councillor Adam, um, the Regional Sale Yards Committee is uh, quite a vital uh, committee for uh, Greater Shipping and City Council. Um, a lot of income is generated through the sale yards and I think it's important that the terms of reference um, indicate the, uh, the workings of that particular uh, committee uh, and uh, detail it in a way that uh, it's self-explanatory. Uh, I also think that um, it's great that we're advertising for community representative on that committee uh, and hopefully uh, one of the farmers that is uh, heavily involved within the uh, sale yards uh, puts their hand up to take on that role. Thank you very much, Councillor Giovanetti. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak for the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Adam? Uh, just to say that I want to stress and clarify, this is a, an advisory committee, so it um, doesn't possess any executive powers as such. Thank you very much. We'll now go to the vote. Those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councils now go to item 7.2, road closure of Crown Roads abutting Pine Lodge Cemetery on page 5. The recommendation is also on page <coughs> 5. Would a council like to move a motion, please? I'll move the uh, recommendation on page 5, Madam Mayor. 
Thank you, Councillor Hazeman. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Patterson. Councillor Hazeman, would you like to speak to the motion? Oh, it's an administrative process. There's three Crown Road reserves. They're all um, abutting the, the Pine Lodge Cemetery. This is uh, simply the process to move ultimately towards the amalgamation of those road reserves into the cemetery property. So it goes out for public comment. Um, anyone that has an interest uh, has the capacity to um, make a submission and then ultimately then the council can consider those submissions as part of its decision making process. Thank you very much, Councillor Hazelman. and Councillor Patterson, would you like to speak to the uh, motion? I think Councillor Hazelman has uh, covered that very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Hazelman? We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councillors will now go to item 7.3, contract 1837, concrete services and associated works on page 8. The recommendation is also on page 8. Would any councillor like to move a motion, please? I'll move the recommendation as a motion, uh, Madam Mayor, that uh, the recommendation as it reads that uh, the council accept uh, point one, accept the tender submitted by Clears Earth Moving and Drainage Proprietary Limited and Tactile Australia Proprietary Limited, one stop civil for contract number 1837 concrete services and associated works to authorise the Chief Executive Officer to award the initial contract for a contract period of two years with optional extension periods for up to two by two years and three authorised Chief Executive Officer to sign, seal and contract documents, sign, seal the contract documents. Thank you for that, Councillor Zavari. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Sutton. Councillor Zavari, would you like to speak to the motion? Uh, no, thanks, Madam Mayor, other than to say that it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Thank you very much, Councillor Sutton. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? To the motion. Any closing comments, Councillor Ozavari? No, thanks, Madam Mayor. We'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councillors will now go to item 8.1, section 86, special committees for the Kyala District Hall Committee of Management and Membership on page 12. The recommendation is on page 12 and page 13. Would a council please like to move a motion? Councillor Patterson, what would you like to move? Uh, yes, I'd like to move the motion on page 12 and 13. Thank you. I won't read it no, out. No, that's fine. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Ozavari. Councillor Patterson, would you like to speak to the motion? Uh, just quickly, again, we have some great people lining up to do their part for our community. Without them, we would um, be totally lost as we continually remind ourselves. And um, yes, I, I thank those people who put in their hand up to look after the, um, the Kyla District Hall. Thank you very much. Councillor Ozavari, would you like to speak to the motion? No, thank you, Madam. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? I'd just like to comment prior to the closing comments that I had the privilege of actually meeting Dorothy and Maura at a um, acknowledgement night of their contribution that they've made to the hall and many years have been contributed from both Maura and Dorothy so it was lovely to actually um, be there on the night and congratulate them on their many years of service and in fact I think the two of them had been there for the most of the history of that building so a great great contribution. Any closing comments? Um, more of a continuation of what you were speaking about, Madam Mayor. I think we spoke about it not that long ago. We hope to develop some sort of recognition for all the people who have given long time service to some of these organisations. Um, we wouldn't survive without them and they do need to be rewarded and uh, appreciated and I'm sure that will happen in the not too distant future. And we'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councils will now go to item 9.1 on page 17. The recommendation is also on page 17. Would a council like to move a motion, please? Councillor Abdullah. I would like to move a motion on page number 17. Um, the recommendation on page number 17, which says that the council adopt the fraud and corruption policy 15.bol1. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Giovanetti. Councillor Abdullah, would you like to speak to the motion? Yeah, I think this, uh, again, fraud and corruption policy is one of those policies which, would ref which reflects council's um, uh, uh, good governance aspect and, it's, uh, and the policy applies to all those uh, parties, uh, individuals and groups that who represent um, council, including uh, council staff, councillors and volunteers, etc. Uh, this uh, 
fraud and corruption policy uh, highlights it very well that, co that the council has uh, zero tolerance for fraud um, in, in respect of financial management or asset management. So it is one of the very important policies and um, happy to endorse that. Thank you very much, Councillor Abdullah. Councillor Gervinetti, would you like to speak to the uh, motion? Councillor Abdullah has covered it satisfactorily, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Are there any closing comments, Councillor Patterson? No, thanks. Oh, sorry, Councillor Abdullah. <laughs> you? Any closing you comments? So similar, I can sorry. Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a Thanks. Thank Madam. you for that. We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councils now go to item 9.2, contracts awarded under delegation on page 20. The recommendation is also on page 20. Would a council like to move the motion, please? Councillor Giovannetti. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to move the uh, recommendation on page 20 as a motion. The council note the publicly advertised contracts awarded under delegated authority and tenders that have been advertised but not yet awarded. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder, please? Yes, Madam Mayor, I'll second that. Councillor Hazel and Councillor Giovannetti, would you like to speak to the uh, motion? Just briefly, Madam Mayor, look, I think it's great that we're actually, uh, as councillors, advised of these uh, contracts as well as the public. Um, it's not a requirement um, for council staff to um, produce this information for us, but it's very uh, informative and um, I believe that it's... Um, it's great to actually uh, advise council and the uh, the public as to uh, the works that are currently uh, either in place and or uh, about to start. Thank you, Councillor Jervin. Any Councillor Hayes, would you like to speak to no, the motion? Madam. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Any councillor like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Gervinetti? Uh, no, Madam Mayor. We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? All those in favour? Thank you, Councillor Patterson. Against. Motion carried. Thank you. <laughs> we'll now go to item 9.3, April 2018 monthly, monthly financial report on page 23 and the recommendation is also on page 23. Would a council like to move a motion please? I'll move the <laughs> recommendation as a motion on page 23 that the council receive and note the April 2018 monthly financial report. Thank you Councillor Zavari. Do I have a seconder please? Councillor Patterson. Councillor Ozavari, would you like to speak to the motion? Madam Mayor, I'd like to defer to Mr Teitzel, if I could, please. Invite him to speak to the information contained. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Madam Mayor, and through you to the councillors. Um, the report, as you're aware, is one of the detail of the detailed report is on page 71 of your agenda, the attachment to the report there. Um, operating performance at the moment is tracking fairly well against budget and forecast. We're fairly happy with that. There are, in the year to date column, in the detail, there is an unfavourable variance in materials and services, which is purely a timing variance at the moment. And it's related to a number of items that have been paid ahead of schedule in relation to road maintenance, building maintenance and some enforcement actions. This won't flow through to the year end. We're not expecting it to at this year, so that um, won't impact year end result. Um, you'll notice in the full year forecast column that there is a 1.65 million unfavourable variance in depreciation. This will impact on the operating result, but because it's a non-cash item, it doesn't affect cash and our working, our working capital ratio or our liquidity ratio is still forecast to be in excess of 200%. Uh, the, res the increased depreciation is a result of a higher than expected level of um, contributed assets from development and work in progress assets that are reaching completion that have been recognised as assets through the year. Uh, at this time of year we are monitoring fairly closely the capital expenditure, um, particularly with the you know, end of financial year not being too far away. Uh, we have 91% of the capital budget committed with orders and either orders or capital or actual expenditure but um, the actual delivery of on-the-ground work will be contingent on materials and services from contractors being delivered prior to the 30th of June. So we're working quite closely with our partners in, in all of that. Um, other than that, things are tracking pretty well as expected. 
Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mr. Tysall. Councillor Patterson, would you like to speak to the motion? I'll look only very slightly after that. Um, uh, also, in um, capital budget, you're also we can be affected by the weather, so that can blow it out. And we're looking very really good at that at this stage. Um, also, the um, operating performance um, is going very well. It is again in comparison to last year. We don't get a clear picture because we're not. We're still the receiving rates in July. We're going to be able to be done with them. All going very well. Thank you much for that. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Are there any closing comments, councillor Zavari? No, thanks, Madam. We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against. Motion carried. Councils will now go to item 10.1, Shepherd and Showgrounds Advisory Committee membership on page 26, and the recommendation is also on page 26. Would a council like to move a motion, please? Councillor Giovanetti. Uh, Madam Mayor, I'd like to move the uh, recommendation as a motion on page 26. That the council, having considered the nominations received for appointment to the Shepherd and Showgrounds Advisory Committee, appoint the following seven members for a two-year term, commencing on 15 May 2018 and concluding on the 14th of May 2020. They being Mr Lord Orla, Lloyd Olin, Mr Mark Parker, Mr David Earl, Mr Ross Graham, Mr Lloyd Healy, Mr Maury McCullough and Mr Brendan Webb. Thank you, Councillor Giovanetti. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Sutton. Councillor Giovanetti, would you like to speak to the motion? Uh, just briefly, Madam Mayor, again, this is a procedural matter with the um, uh, nominations for um, the Shep Showgrounds Committee. Uh, I think these uh, people at Section 86 Committee do a fantastic job. Uh, the showgrounds uh, looks impeccable and the improvements that they've made over the last three to four years have been uh, quite exceptional really, um, which is really um, beholden upon the number of events that we're holding there now. So I think they've done an excellent job. Thank you very much, Councillor Giovanetti. Councillor Sutton, would you like to speak to the motion? Both of experience in in this committee, and they're all very very knowledgeable in the operation of the showgrounds. They play a vital role in assisting council with day-to-day -day matters and procedures, and also in strategic planning for the future. So, thank you, Councillor Sutton. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Are there any closing comments, Councillor Jevonetti? Uh, no, Madam Mayor. We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against. Motion carried. I'd now like to ask Councillor Abdullah to please take the chair for the next item, which is 10.2. Due to my conflict of interest, I'll now leave the chair. Item number 10.2 on page 30. It's regarding Mod Street Mall concept options. Um, there's a recommendation on page number 31. Would a councillor like to move a motion, please? Councillor Sutton. Do I have a seconder? I'll, well, what's the motion first? Could you please read out the motion? Thank you, Councillor Sutton. Do you have a second, please? I'll second the motion, Madam Chair. Thank you, Councillor Adam. Councillor Sutton, would you like to speak to the motion? I've held a multitude of consultations and workshops in this area and with stakeholders and the wider community. And they've come up with these four concept designs that are now being released to the public for their information and input. Hopefully, anyone that is at all interested in the CB Thank you. Councillor Adam, would you like to speak to the motion? Yeah, I just want to make mention of the fact that uh, this has been an ongoing issue for a long time and it's been uh, very controversial too, the mall in general. Um, I think we're, we're seeing really
great progress here. We've finally got four tangible designs to look at. Uh, I don't think councillors completely agree with entirely with any one of them, but that's why we're here. And we're also, this motion puts it out to the public. And I just want to ensure the public do understand that we will be taking uh, note of their actual opinions and views on these particular plans. Thank you, Councillor Adam. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Councillor Giovanetti. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I just want to endorse what Councillor Sutton has said. Uh, I, I really do urge the uh, ratepayers within Greater Shepparton City Council to have a look at these uh, designs, put forward your thoughts and suggestions. I know there's been a lot of comment um, about lack of action in the past. Um, and I also understand there has been significant comment about the costs uh, once, um, once that information was uh, detailed to the community. So I think it's very, it's imperative for people to have their say. Uh, they, we're talking huge dollars with these particular projects. Um, we need community input um, and the more input you give us, the better chance we have of making a, uh, a rational decision. Thank you. Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Yeah, thank you, Madam Councillor Hatterman. Um, I'd like to start by uh, commending Spire on the work that they've done, um, the consultation process and the development of these four concept plans, which I think we'd all acknowledge uh, it's been a, a quality outcome. Um, Look, part of the history of the Maud Street Mall is there's never been a consensus around what should be the preferred outcome. And I suspect we'll probably get a fair bit of that come back through this process as well. There's not going to be a clear cut, well, I'm surprised if there'd be a clear cut winner from the public comment. The clear cut winner is probably going to be option number five, which isn't out there, which relates to the cost of the project. We'll probably get more comment about that than the actual designs themselves. But like other councillors, I'd encourage people to, to have their say. This has been a contentious issue for many years and there's never been a clear cut direction, but the council has put four options out in front of the community and it's imperative we get the widest range of feedback we can. Thank you. Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Councillor Oroswari. Thank you, Madam uh, Deputy Mayor. Uh, I'd summarise it by saying the worst that the people in Shepparton can do is be ambivalent the best they can do is to take ownership and make informed comment. Thank you. Would Councillor uh, Yes, basically I agree with all the other speakers. Uh, what we've really got to concentrate on listening to our whole community, not just the traders in the mall or the CBD. You know, it's a lot of dollars. We need to listen to everyone that wants to make a comment right throughout our municipality. Um, as we've already agreed, that it's been going on for years and years and years and years, and this is a very significant step we've made, and um, it's out there for comment now. We want to hear back, and hopefully, from our perspective, as Hays Councillor Hazelin said, we will get an indication one way or the other, whereas every other time we've tried to get an indication, it's been a 50-50 vet. At least we know it won't be 50-50. It might be 25% this way, but you know, still, at least we'll have something to work with. It might be 50-50. Thank you, Councillor Patterson. Um, Councillor Sutton, do you have any closing comments? We'll now go to the vote. Those in favour? Motion carried. Leave it there, Bruce. She did wrong. Well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a bit harsh. <laughs> How quickly we forget. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Councillor Abdullah, for taking the chair. Councils will now go to item 10.3, Instrument of Appointment and Authorisation Planning and Environment Act 1987 on page 37. The recommendation is on page 38. Would a council like to move a motion, please? Patterson, what would you like to move? Uh, I'd like to move the motion um, on page 38, 10.3. I won't read it out, it's considerably long. 
That's fine. Thank you very much for that. Do I have a seconder, please? Second the motion, Councillor please. Adam, thank you very much. Councillor Patterson, would you like to speak to the motion? Ah, uh, yes, this is very much housekeeping. Um, it's a, a um, basically we're crossing some people off and we're putting some more people in their positions. And uh, I'd like to congratulate Geraldine Mary Christou on her appointment and Tracy Marie Curie, Michelle Edwards and Mitchell um, Stotter, and I should really have my glass on, I apologise if I got them wrong. Um, so they now have a step up in their procurement positions, um, which is good for them and it's a sign that um, they are respected and um, acknowledged as very good employees. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Councillor Patterson. <laughs> I think we'll hand it over to Councillor Adam. Would you like to I'd, I'd, comment? I'd improve on that, Madam Mayor, to follow. <laughs> you know, this is more of a, as Councillor Patterson said, it's a, not so much a housekeeping, but it's a, an administrative um, directive that must be made, um, uh, just giving the authority to these people that Councillor uh, Patterson mentioned, Geraldine Mary Christou, and Tracy Marie McCurry and Michelle Edwards and Mitchell Stoter, I think it's pronounced, I'm not sure, be appointed authorised to set out the instrument of appointment. Uh, that can only be done by council, not by the CEO. So that's why we're adopting that here tonight. Thank you very much. Would any council like to speak against the motion? Would any council like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Patterson? Perhaps no, you can have no, another thank go you. there. I did sufficiently bad enough. <laughs> thank you very much. We'll all go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councils will now go to item 11 on page 40. If we have any tabled motions, we have nil received. Item 12, reports from council delegates to other bodies, we have nil received. Item 13, reports from council committees and advisory committees, we have nil received. Item 14, notice of motion, amendment or rescission, we have nil received. And item 15, documents for signing and sealing, we have nil received. Councillors will now go to item 16.1, Councillors Community Interaction and Briefing Program on page 41 and the recommendation is on page 42. Would a councillor like to move a motion please? Do the recommendation on page 42, Madam Mayor. Thank you Councillor Hazeman. Do I have a seconder please? Councillor Patterson. Councillor Hazeman, would you like to speak to the motion? Um, just to highlight one point and it's probably just about 10 points up from the bottom on page 41 where it talks about Liberal Government Announcement, Shepherd and Passenger Rail Service. Uh, people do get a bit sensitive about sort of sort of things but I think it'd be worthwhile pointing out that they are not the government um, and that uh, for accuracy it should be recorded appropriately. Thank you very much. Councillor Patterson, would you like to speak to the motion? No, thank you. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Hazelman? We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councillors will now go to item 17.1, Record of Assemblies of Councillors on page 43. However, the recommendation is on page 55. Would a councillor like to move a motion, please? All heads down. Councillor Giovanetti. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to move the uh, recommendation on page 55 and the Council note the record of assemblies of councillors. Thank you very much. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Patterson again. Councillor Giovanetti, would you like to speak to the motion? Uh, look, Madam Mayor, it's purely a procedural process. Again, it's the meetings that we've attended as councillors representing um, our constituents. Uh, relates to briefing sessions and meetings with um, uh, various staff throughout the month. And it's highlights um, the various roles that we uh, we play uh, and, and are involved with. Thank you very much. Councillor Patterson, do you have any comments? No, Councillor, do you have any comments? Very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Giovanetti? No, Madam Mayor, thank you. Thank you. We'll all go to the vote. All those in favour? Against, motion carried. Councils will now go to page 56 on the back of our agenda. Item 18, any urgent and other business not included on the agenda? Not tonight because we don't have a full quorum. Item 19, confidential and management reports. We do go to item 19.1, designation of confidentiality of information and reports are attached. Would someone please like to move the recommendation? 
on page 56. I'll move the recommendation, Madam Mayor, on page 56 in relation to the recommendation as read in accordance with section 77.2b of the Local Government Act. Council designates as confidential all documents used to prepare the following agenda item. Number one, report 7.3, contract 1837, concrete services and associated works designated by the Chief Executive Officer in writing is confidential under section 77.2c of the Act. This document relates to a contractual matter which are relevant grounds applying under the relevant sections of the Act. Thank you very much for that. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Sutton. Councillor Osavari, would you like to speak to the motion? No, thank you, Madam Mayor. Councillor Sutton, would you like to speak to the motion? Would any councillor like to speak against the motion? Would any councillor like to speak to the motion? Any closing comments, Councillor Osavari? No. We'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. Councillors will now go to item 19.2. It's also on page 56 and there is a recommendation. Would a councillor like to move that recommendation, please? I'll move that uh, recommendation as a motion, Madam Mayor. On page 56, that reads that pursuant to sections 89 2AD of the Local Government Act 1989, the Council meeting to be closed to members of the public for consideration of a confidential item. Thank you very much, Councillor Adam. Do I have a seconder, please? Councillor Giovanetti. Councillor Adam, would you like to speak to the motion? Thank you very much, Councillor Giovanetti. I agree with Councillor Adam. Would anyone like to speak against the motion? Would any Councillor like to speak to the motion? <coughs> any closing comments? Councillor Adam, we'll now go to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Motion carried. We now will ask the members of the gallery please to leave for our confidential part of the meeting.